thanks for joining us. First up at 5.30, there are new plans to help small businesses struggling because of the East Haddam Swing Bridge construction. As Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash explains, the frustrations go way beyond the bridge, but help is on the way. You could be having kids' baseball games in the middle of Bridge Road when that bridge is closed for 63 hours. This is Bridge Road, home to many small businesses and the heart of Tylerville, a village of Haddam. Not far away is the East Haddam Swing Bridge, under construction and often close to traffic. When it is, drivers looking to go over the Connecticut River must either go south to Old Saybrook on 95 or north and go over the Aragone. So we don't get the traffic in. We get people across the river that don't come. Larry Maggi owns Fireworks Hearth and Home. He shares the building with Allen Small Engine Repair, owned by Allen Blaschick. There's a lot of cars that go through here every single day. When the hub is down, Nobody travels to this area. The pair both say they've lost business since the Swing Bridge project started. Both estimate they're down at least 25%, and that's scary news to Haddam First Selectman Robert McGarry, who says years of road construction before the pandemic, the virus itself, and now this project are all adding up for these small businesses. We're all happy it's being fixed. It's just now it's one more thing, and it's really devastating for the, the businesses right on Bridge Road in that immediate area. Even when the bridge isn't shut down entirely, these business owners say traffic builds up quickly, and that still deters people from going into town. People don't want the delays. Until the bridge fully reopens, there's some financial help coming from the town. New grants will be $20,000 each. Eligible businesses must be in Tylerville. They must also be a true mom-and-pop shop. No chains or multiple location stores allowed. One of my big nightmares is that after spending all the money and the effort we have to improve the district, it's going to be a ghost town because the businesses go out of business. The money comes from an excess in this year's budget and some leftover ARPA money. The Board of Selectmen still needs to approve the plan. McGarry expects applications to open sometime in late August. It'll help keep us afloat, help keep us uh, moving forward. In Haddam, Luke Hydash, Channel 3. Eyewitness News.